we say that a graph G is planar if all of the edges of G can be drawn without any of them crossing. Otherwise, G is not planar. Here's a realistic and interesting problem that my friend asked me one time. Suppose you have three houses and three utilities, like water, gas, and electricity. Each of these houses is going to need a direct line from each of the utilities. Supposing we want to avoid all disasters from happening, we're just going to not let any of the lines cross. So if we start filling this out, you'll see we'll first give each house water, and then we can give each house gas. The lines get a little bit crazier, but it's doable. And lastly, we need to give everybody electricity. Two of the connections aren't too difficult, but this last connection is seemingly impossible. If you stare at it long enough, you'll notice that there is no way to connect electricity to this third house without crossing lines. You might suspect that I just drew these lines sort of wrong. Maybe there's a different way that I could orient these lines so that I would be able to do this. And I'll let you try that on your own. And if you don't want to try this yourself, you can at least give this problem to a friend and see if they can do it. The truth is, you're always going to run into this problem where the last connection that you need to draw, you're not going to be able to do it without crossing lines. The graph that we're trying to create here is called a K33. And since we're not able to draw every edge without them crossing, then we call this graph non-planar. In fact, there are only really two graphs that we need to worry about being non-planar. That's K33 and this other graph, K5. There's a theorem which states that if a graph contains K33 or K5 as a subgraph, then that graph is not planar. If you understand this theorem, then you understand the basics of what it means to be a planar graph. But if you want a deeper understanding, you should look up Kurtowski's theorem, which is going to teach you about subdivisions of a graph. And then later you should look up Wagner's theorem, which will teach you about minors in a graph. I hope this helped, and thank you for listening.